and welcome to this BuyBot Pro video. So today I'm really excited to let you know that there has been a brand new update applied to BuyBot Pro this week, which includes a few new features and some small tweaks here and there. And what I'm gonna do is run through everything new that's been added to BuyBot Pro in this update. Now, speaking of updates, if you can't see any of the new stuff right now, please make sure that you update your BuyBot Pro Chrome extension if it hasn't automatically done it. So to update your extension, what you need to do is come to the jigsaw piece icon at the top, Find BuyBot Pro, click on the three dots, then manage extension. And then you'll come to this page here whereby you can click on the update button and it will do just that. If you can't see the update button, please make sure that you've turned on developer mode at the top and then you'll have the update button there. So update your BuyBot Pro. At the same time, it's worth checking that you've updated your Google Chrome as well, just to ensure that everything runs smoothly. Now let's crack on with all of the new things that have been added. So the first thing is the auto analyze feature. Now this is super cool. To turn this on, what you need to do is come to the settings, find the personalization section, then toggle on the auto analyze feature. Make sure that if you've changed anything in your settings that you've come to the bottom and press save and sync, which means that BuyBot Pro can then refresh and take that change into account. Now I'm gonna show you exactly what it does. So pay attention here, everything's analyzed. Now if we come onto this item, for the first time on Amazon, usually you have to enter in your buy price and sell price, then click on analyze. Well, with auto analyze turned on, it has analyzed it right away without me having to do anything at all. No entering in a buy price, no clicking on analyze. It has analyzed the item right here, right now, as soon as I've come onto the page, showing me absolutely everything I need to see about the item. Now, obviously, because I've not entered in a buy price, um, then the figures for the profit and the ROI are gonna be inaccurate. So if I want accurate numbers like the ROI and profit and so forth, then I obviously just need to enter in a buy price. But besides that, everything else in the BuyBot Pro panel will be displayed for you. So this is gonna save you bundles of time. So instead of coming to an item, trying to find a place that you can buy it from to then enter in a buy price into BuyBot Pro, to analyze it just to find that there is an IP issue or you're not liking the looks of the competition based on what you can see, or you're not liking the looks of the BSR, anything at all, well, you don't have to worry about that and then waste the time just to analyze it and then go, oh, I can't sell it. You get all of the analysis results right here, right now, meaning that you can check everything out about the item well in advance before you go ahead to proceed with it further in your analysis process. So then you can enter in your buy price and get the accurate profit and ROI, but you get everything else right off the bat. Now that is super, super cool. Um, obviously, if you prefer the old way, entering in the buy price, sell price, then clicking analyze, then just leave auto analyze turned off, but give it a shot, see what you think. The next thing that has been added to BuyBot Pro is all the way down at the bottom of the panel. So this is the BSR and prices section, which of course, like all of the other sections in BuyBot Pro, you can minimize or open up depending on your preference. Now this is gonna show you the BSR for the item and the prices, so a breakdown of this information. So it's gonna show you the BSR for the item and if it meets your criteria, if it's in the top 1%, which it is, it gives me the BSR predictor here. So where there is sufficient data to analyze, our algorithm helps predict future BSR percentage ranking. So it predicts that it's gonna remain in the top 1% of this item's category. You then have the keeper BSR drops. Now the BSR drops show you how well an item has been selling. So for every drop, similar to the BSR line in the charts, there's, that means there's been at least one sell for the item. It could be more than one, but there's been at least one. So the more drops, the more sells. Now just to be clear, just because it says it's dropped five times in the last 30 days, that doesn't mean that there's only been five sales for the item in the last 30 days. Now, of course, to check out sales in a bit more depth, that's where you would then come to the estimated sales calculator, or indeed you can check out the information on the charts. So it's completely up to you, but that is just a brief indicator of how well the item is selling. So the more drops, the better. Then you have the prices. So it's showing you who currently holds the buy box and at what price. It shows you the net buy box price changes as well and what's happened in the last period of time that you've had. So you've had four ups and five downs. You have the top prices on the listing for the different types of sellers. So you've got Amazon themselves, you've got the FBA sellers, so this is the top price. And out of the FBM sellers, this is the top price. You can also change the time period that you are viewing this information for by using these buttons at the top. So you can look at this information for the last 30 days, 90 days, 180, or for all time. So you can change that to see how it's been doing historically. Next, you have the chart section, which is super cool. So you have the main sales chart and heat map and the reviews and offers chart 
minimized to cute little versions, if I may say, and added into this section in the main panel. So this means that if you only paid attention to these charts, you could quite simply turn off the charts in Bybot Pro and just keep this section here. So that way you've got everything nice and organized in the main Bybot Pro panel. So you can still see everything in there. It works exactly the same as the big charts. It's no different whatsoever. Um, of course, just the same if you hover over any point in time, you can see the historic information for the item to determine what exactly happened at this specific point in time that you're looking at. And obviously that's gonna change as we move along. You can toggle off what you want to see on the, on the main chart here. You have the sales heat map, and then you have the offers and reviews chart down here, which works exactly the same as the big one. So again, if you hover over any of these points, it shows you what exactly was going on at that point in time. So you can gauge lots of different factors about the item and how it's performed historically. You can change the day range at the bottom, the same as the main chart. So right now it's on 90 days, but if I want to look at the last seven days, I can, or 30, 180, 365, or for all times since the item was first listed. If you click and drag, you can zoom into a specific point in time to get a bit more detail about that time period you have zoomed in on, and then you can reset the zoom here. Then if you want to, you can open up the BuyWatt Pro charts in a new tab to get them much bigger. And obviously in this new tab, you'll have more than just those charts that show there. So you'll have the BSR chart and the averages tables as well. So if you want to check out the charts in a lot more detail, you can open up a brand new tab. And next to that, you can open up the chart in Keeper if you wish, if you want to view it that way. Um, so that way we can check out everything about this item in Keeper. It works just the same, hover over any point, and it tells you what exactly was going on with the item at that specific point in time that you are hovered over. So that is amazing. A small tweak that we've made as well at the very top of BuyBot Pro is we've added this little cog here so you can hide all of this information down below. If you very simply just want to enter in the buy price and sell price and you have no need for any of these toggles, the quantity or the VAT override, you can now minimize that and just have the buy price and sell price very simply, um, meaning that it helps tidy up your main panel. Now, of course, without a buy price entered in, just remember that you will see things like this in the ROI. Um, you'll have an off profit and so forth. Again, because you've not entered in a buy price, it doesn't have accurate information to work with. So if you want to see more accurate numbers in the details section and such, all you need to do is enter in a buy price, press enter, and it will reanalyze and give you a correct ROI and profit and so forth and take that into account for all of the calculations here. And that is basically all of the new bits and pieces that have been added into BuyBot Pro. We're always looking to add new things to the software to make it so much better for you guys, to make it so much more useful. Hopefully you love everything that we've done. We'd love to hear your feedback, your thoughts, how much you're liking all of the new features. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. If you have any further questions about the new features or anything else, don't forget you can reach out to info at buybotpro.com. Thanks again for watching and I'll catch you next time. <laughs>